So procrastination is simply the brain's way of trying to protect us. The brain's hardwired to avoid pain. So because financial behaviours in particular are seen as painful, there's budgeting, there's doing spreadsheets, they're, they're not fun things. The brain sees that as pain and says, don't do that now, do that next week and instead have a piece of chocolate cake. And so you end up putting off the things that you should do and instead focusing on the things that you want to do. And because your brain wants to do that, it'll actually reward you for the decision to procrastinate. There's heaps of really simple things that we can do to help us avoid procrastination. So one of those things could be that I could uh, set a deadline and tell you about it. And because I've told you about it, I then have uh, a heightened responsibility to actually do it by a certain date. And we've found that actually by doing that, people are much more likely to do the things that they should do and actually feel good about it because they've ticked it off the list. It, it becomes a list ticking exercise, which ironically is also uh, the next thing that you can do. Create a list. And, 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 and break that list down. Don't make them big things like, uh, you know, control my finances. Just make them really small things like uh, have a look at the balance today, tick. And every time you get a little tick, you get a little hit of dopamine, which is fantastic. So the biggest single thing I say to people to help them avoid procrastination in the future is don't beat yourself up so hard about procrastinating in the past. I think we can be very hard on ourselves and by just going, you know what, it's not about not procrastinating, it's actually just about procrastinating less. And if you can figure out a way to do it less than you had before, uh, put a few things in place to help you uh, reinforce the behaviours that you want rather than reinforce the behaviours that you don't want, give yourself a break. It's okay.